Nyangore's forest in Bomet County is a closed canopy forest. It is part of the Mau complex and a main catchment area for River Nyangore's, one of the tributaries of River Mara, the mainstay of the Masai Mara Game Reserve. Natural forests are known to regenerate on their own in maintaining the vegetation cover. Actually, to mobilize the community to be able to participate in the conservation of our natural forest, natural forest block. Trees, when they plant, they protect the soil from erosion. Another issue also is that as also we promote uh, crops uh, like uh, fruits. We, uh, we also promote the conservation of the soil. However, Nyangore's forest is under threat of pastoralists who graze their livestock in the vast land. The Community Forest Association, CFA, is appealing to the Ministry of Environment to ban cattle grazing in the forest in order to protect the young seedlings. Even on the other side, in Olengurwani, people are allowed to graze. All over, in fact, around, around this Mao forest, Mao water tower, people, people actually go into the forest with their animals. Our problem is, these animals actually uh, uh, overgraze the forest. They overgraze. They trample the young trees. The young trees are no longer allowed to grow. So our opinion is that the government, that is KFS, actually should also stop grazing of these animals. The chairman of Nyangore's Forest, CFA, John Mutai, and treasurer William Rono are calling on the government to assist in remunerating forest scouts, noting that the proposed installation of CCTV cameras and use of drones will not stop the degradation of the forests. Community, there are very many, and they have a lot of eyes. He has also taken here from various parts. So if those people are going to be empowered and given that opportunity, the conservation is going to uh, improve. Another thing also, especially this uh, recruitment of, say, rangers, the officers for the forest, you know, when they come from very far, the people, they see they, as if they are neglected. They don't, uh, they don't own anything because their children are not going to be employed. They want to be involved in the task force appointed by Environment and Forestry Cabinet Secretary Keriako Tobiko to provide valuable input in the findings of the task force. Judith Akolo, Channel One News.